Hi, my name is Rob McGowan. I'm with Cadre, Community Asset Development Redefining Education. Can you tell us a little bit about what Cadre does, Rob? Sure. Um, Cadre, we empower and organize parents to know their rights, um, to recognize their human rights in dealing with schools, to make sure that all kids are educated no matter where they live. So, Rob, tell me why people should vote no on Proposition 6. Again, um, we've seen these type of attacks before in our communities where uh, our young people are attacked, people of color are attacked, funds and monies are taken um, from infrastructure, from education, and put into things like prisons and uh, things of that nature. Again, we, we missed a boat on Prop 21, we missed a boat on Three Strikes, and this is a chance to make sure that our parents and the people of South LA and the citizens of South LA and the people of South LA get out, uh, get involved, learn the process, because that's what we're missing. Uh, not, a, not enough of us know the electoral process to where we can build up those muscles in between the cycles so we can flex them during the cycles. So this is a chance for our organization to get on board, to have our parents get involved and learn the process. Rob, so Cadre works with parents. What I've been hearing um, from people out in different parts of the city is that, that the parents are to blame for young people running rampant, committing all these quote-unquote crimes. How, do you, how does Cadre respond to that? And then what do your parents who are active in and trying to fight for change, what do they think about that? Well, of course they think it's a bunch of nonsense because when you start looking at, at solutions to problems so simplistically, it's easy to point the fingers at the ones that you see. It's, it's harder to point the fingers at, at the system and society at large that contribute to things that make these limited choices available for young folks. So when you have limited choices for parents who need better jobs, I'm sure parents would love to spend more time and be at, be at the PTA meetings, but they don't make enough money on the one job, so maybe they're working two jobs, or maybe there's other kids that they have to deal with. So it looks like the parents aren't involved or, or they don't care, but in reality, the parents are the one giving the most behind the scenes. And, and because the infrastructure and the society should be setting up these, these, um, these systems and processes to help kids, to help our parents, that they're not in place, this thing called positive behavior supports that should be in place in our schools. They'll provide mental support. You got kids in neighborhoods who are dealing with post-traumatic stress syndrome. You got kids in neighborhoods who, are, who aren't eating. You got kids in neighborhoods who are dealing with uh, maybe, you know, we, we call it grandmama named mama, mama named Pam because mama's in jail and they're living with grandma or they're in foster care, but there aren't enough resources to support these children and educate them correctly and get them in the mind, mental, mental mind frame to succeed. But then when everything falls apart, they point the finger at the least of us, and that's not right. Last question, Rob. So what can people who are not currently involved in the effort to defeat Prop 6, what can people do? Get out, get informed, get educated, get on the website, talk to some of the organizations or any of the organizations here, but get out and do something. You know, when, it, like I say, it's an it's a old, old, old saying that says, you know, uh, bad things happen when good people do nothing. So, good people, Get out there, do something, get involved, get educated, get off your butts. You can come make phone calls and phone bank if, if something wrong, with, if you're elderly, something wrong with your knees. And you can get out there and go door to door, see who your neighbors are, inform them, make those relationships, make those connections. Thank you. Anytime.